Today I have the pleasure of having Eric Desonet from Nouveau Monde Graphite. How are you today? I'm good, Tracy, and you? Well, let's start. You have recently changed your name and added six new board members, including Guy Barassa from Namaska. Can you tell us what the new name is and tell us a little bit more about these board members? Yeah, actually, we needed to do that huh? because since we met a long time ago, we were an exploration company looking for a lot of different minerals. Now we discovered a huge deposit by exploration which is graphite, and obviously we need to put that uh, mine into production. So it was the time to uh, put the, the name right. You know, Nouveau Monde Graphite is the way to, to be, and in English it's the same in French, so it's good. And the new board members reflect very well where we want to go. It's, uh, I'm the only geologist now on the board, and now it's really people that uh, deliver to their shareholders or did the tremendous thing in their career. So I invite you to look at their bio on the website. It's very good. Well, I, I did look at their bios. And like I said, I was mentioning Guy Barassa, for instance. You seem to have a lot of members on your board with experience in various industries, which I thought, for instance, like the lithium ion battery industry. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about the industries you're targeting with the Nouveau Monde Graphite? Obviously, we need to consider the lithium-ion battery and this synergy with the Nemaska lithium is obvious. We both have a good project in Quebec. They are in advance for sure with a feasibility study. That's a market we are targeting and Guy will be very helpful at helping the board to achieve that, uh, that market segment. But there's obviously a lot of other market in graphite that we are developing as well. Uh, you saw that we had a CFO a long time ago uh, in November, uh, just before Christmas actually. Uh, and that CFO is very useful to target the right markets in graphite. So yes, lithium-ion battery is a great market, but obviously last year it wasn't the only one growing. There was also the expandable graphite, and that's a market that we are targeting as well. And much other market that are smaller niche market, but great margin. We need to be in all markets to have a very uh, profitable uh, operation. All right. For everyone, all of our investor intel audience members, Nouveau Monde, you've always been very quiet and understated. So I wasn't surprised that you came out with six new board members. Uh, this is a really good time to take a look at Nouveau Monde, of course. Could you give our audience that may not be aware of what an exceptional graphite supply that you have or infrastructure, kind of an overview about mm -hmm. Nouveau Monde? Yeah, so there's two big opportunities currently in America. First, there's only one mine that is currently producing significant amount, which is owned by uh, Imris Graphite and Carbon. They are located 100 kilometers west of our project. And that's one big opportunity in the lithium-ion battery market. Our deposit specifically, technically, is the best fit to take advantage of these two opportunities. First, the location is fantastic. It's an hour and a half north of Montreal with all access to labor, hydroelectricity, uh, everything that you can imagine is the best location. And on top of it, we have the best metallurgy out there to be able to take advantage of all markets. And lucky enough, we have a very similar flake size distribution and physical properties of this uh, Imris graphite and carbon. So they are officially out of ore in four years. They announced it this fall. So it's good to have a market that was developed by a big guy like this and come as a replacement in the same market without much risk, you know, so that's very, very interesting opportunity currently happening. Speaking of interesting opportunities, I noticed you also hired a former leader of Emirates uh, Graphite and Carbon. So can you tell us a little bit more about this individual and what his role will be for Nouveau Monde? Yeah, Armando, you're talking about Armando. Armando is a fantastic uh, individual. Uh, Armando Farate was a COO of National de Graffite in Brazil. Uh, for four or five years, and after that he became the natural graphite operation leader for Imris Graphite and Carbon. Actually, actually Armando was the guy I was talking with uh, when I was uh, discussing uh, with Imris confidentially. Uh, but uh, Armando now it brings a, uh, a lot of information, how to develop our operation with the right specification for the right customer. So it's, it's a, it, not valuable, you know, what he's bringing to the company. So yes, he started to work with us, I think it was uh, in January. Uh, our Mendoza is very important for us. So obviously your timeline is heating up. Can you give us some of the uh, milestones you expect to uh, hit this year? Yeah, so milestones, the main one are first, 
We have an update of the resource from all the drilling we have done last year. Last year. The update will be probably around the PDAC, so in a few, a few two weeks from now. Uh, after that, we start the PFS, the Pre-Feasibility Study, and we are applying for a pilot scale operation, small scale, that hopefully we can start uh, operating next year, 2018, to be able to have uh, tons to provide to potential customer instead of kilograms. <laughs> well, Eric, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy.